Whoever organizes 4th of July event in Flagstaff should be fired. Okay, so the event was free. I'll give it that. Parking was free. And the laser show that was supposed to be epic was also free. So here's my first complaint. This was the kid zone. They had like four mediocre bounce houses and the lines were super long. Outside they did have some cornhole things, but there was a sign that said there was crafts and face painting and I did not see it. They had live music. I think that was pretty good, but I did not get to enjoy it because the food truck line was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, so I'm at the Sassy and Fig line, okay? That was the shortest line. And I get that you're a small business and all, but there was only one person working that booth. But what poor planning on their part for not having an extra person to help them take to orders? That literally was a two-hour line and did not need to be. Okay, so there were like basically seven food trucks, but four of them were actually food, and three of them were basically dessert and like coffee and drinks and shit. The Tot Tot line ran out of food. One line had to shut down for like 30 minutes because it was so long. I don't know, but if you knew that it was going to be a 4th of July festival, wouldn't you want more food trucks? And the food trucks were not free, so I indeed think that there would have been more vendors that would want to be there. Okay, so here's the laser show. Alright, we weren't in the center of it, or we were on the side, and we were pretty close. I'm going to tell you, the music was pretty good. It kind of felt like you were in a rave party, but you weren't drunk or high. Several times my son sarcastically said to me, I hope you didn't pay for this. So here's the thing. We left early because we were just like, okay, this is kind of lame, but I have a pro tip for you if you go next year. Watch the show from the parking lot. It actually is way cooler because you can see the whole show. I actually don't know why the organizers didn't see that to begin with. Another pro tip, bring hella snacks and bring your own food before you go in. Like stop for a pizza or something. Look, there is a ban for fireworks in Coconina County, so you can't blame them for trying their best. I just felt like a lot of it was really poor planning on their part for not anticipating how many people were going to be there. And don't get me started on the shit show for the parking lot situation.